This one comes to us from AL.com. Out of Alabama, a former Alabama police chief has been indicted on multiple charges of domestic violence. Alabama Attorney General Steve Marshall on Thursday announced the indictments against Franklin Gregory Jackson, who's 50, of Lockhart, who is the former Lockhart police chief. Now, Jackson surrendered to the Covington County Sheriff's Office on Wednesday, and he's charged with one count of domestic violence, strangulation, suffocation, one count of second-degree domestic violence stalking, two counts of third-degree domestic violence harassment, and one count of third-degree domestic violence assault. He's got some stuff to plead with, right? Marshall said the indictments were issued September 28th, but he did not release additional details and efforts to obtain Jackson's mugshot from coming to county jail were not immediately successful. And it wasn't clear when Jackson left the Lockhart Police Department, but if convicted, former Chief Jackson faces two to 20 years in prison and a fine of up to $30,000 for domestic violence strangulation or suffocation and for second degree domestic violence stalking, which are class B felonies. Additionally, he faces up to a year in prison and a fine of up to $6,000 on each of the third degree domestic charges which are class A misdemeanors. So, again, you have to think to yourself, if he's treating his family this way, how's he treating his subordinates at the police station? He's a police chief now. And if he's like this, what are his officers like on the street? Because you all know, look, a lot of times officers mirror their superiors they do you get a police chief that's a dick everybody like, hey we could be a dick a police chief's a dick but uh, he won't be a police chief for a while so it looks like he just might be facing some time 